Okay, so this is part three of cholesterol synthesis. Um, so in this, this step, we are going to do three prenyl transfers to form this farnesyl pyrophosphate. So before we had left off with the dimethyl pyrophosphate, and that looked something like this. Um, so I'm gonna draw it in the same sort of format as we had, just so we can stay consistent and see what went where, okay, so the, uh, the allyl system, dimethyl, um, pyrophosphate, okay, so this is what we had before, and before we had isomerized it, we had this compound, um, which is actually called isopentanyl pyrophosphate, and it was just an isomer, and it had the double bond there, rather, okay, um, so the arrow was going in this direction for the synthesis, um, but we actually have this compound um, within the cytosol. So um, this is these two compounds are going to um, condense in what is called the parental transfer, and that's going to happen three times, and it's going to yield sparnosyl pyrophosphate, um, five carbons, um, and the dimethyl and isopentanyl pyrophosphate, and finally we have farnesyl pyrophosphate, which is 15 carbons. So we're well on our way to the synthesis. Let's look at this prenyl transfer a little closer. All right, so sometimes this is actually called di uh, disassociative electrophilic alkylation. So let's look at this name, disassociative, oh man, I can't spell. So disassociative allylic um, electrophilic. Okay, so first of all, there's going to be a disassociation, and that is going to be um, on the uh, dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. So this disassociates, and what do we have? We have a carbocation. The double bond is intact. The dimethyl groups there. All right, and it's going to be a parental transfer. So we're going to transfer this group with an attack of the, this pi system. So we attack here. Um, maybe as a side note, um, on an exam situation, maybe you show this as a resonance um, form also. So maybe you just draw something like this with it like this as a resonance form here. Um, and that's, that's generally true for most of these compounds I'm drawing. So what do we get from this? We get the pyrophosphate here, and we have a carbocation here. And um, it had attacked here. Double bond, okay. So this is why it's often called an alkylation because this would be an alkyl group, I mean, minus this uh, pyrophosphate. So uh, now we're gonna re restore this kind of double bond that had existed by a deprotonation here. So we evoke a base and we add those electrons in here. Okay, so what we've done now is we are uh, two thirds there. We've formed ger geranyl pyrophosphate, and um, all we got to do now is repeat. We do the same thing. We use this as if it was the uh, the di the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate, and we bring in another isopentanyl pyrophosphate. So isopentanyl pyrophosphate was this guy. Um, so OPP um, allyl, and actually that's the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate, so it's really this. And we use this, this guy because he can attack here, so um, we disassociate, positive charge, attack, and that's essentially it. That's Farnesyl pyrophosphate right there. So 
what have we done? We get attacked here, and that was with what was a a pi system. So there's a positive charge here. Okay, and then we have the pyrophosphate. So OPP, we deprotonate here, evoke the base, and that's it. That's that's the compound we're looking for. All right, so I'll see you in the next video on our way to cholesterol.